Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tobias and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an unboxing setup and then finally a review of this new standing desk that I just got by the brand Cronova. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And just really quick, if you would like to see more of my videos in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So anyways, this is the Cronova height adjustable electric standing desk. I got the 48 inch by 24 inch size, but it does also come in 55 inches by 28 inches. It's $189 for the 48 by 24 inch one and $234 for the 55 by 28 inch one. And I will go ahead and put the Amazon link for this Cronova standing desk down in the description below in case you would like to check it out for yourself. Putting the desk together was fairly easy, however, make sure you are using the right screws in the right places. There are two screw sizes, and at first I was accidentally using the wrong ones, so I had to take them out and replace them with the correct screws, so it took me a little longer to put the desk together than it should have. When it comes to the instructions, I thought they were okay, however, the contents list wasn't 100% accurate with what came inside the box. I think it's because maybe before they were using a different set of electronics for the controller and now they are using a different system. So I spent some time searching for a cable that wasn't actually included in the packaging. But then eventually I realized that I didn't need it and that my set of electronics was different than what was shown in the instructions. But either way, the controller and cables were easy enough to put together. They also include the Allen wrench and screwdriver that you need to put the desk together. Also, I did notice that they included a QR code on the top of the desk, which will take you to a video that will show you how to put the desk together. I didn't watch the video because I didn't notice the QR code until I already put the desk together. One thing to keep in mind while you are assembling the desk is that the motor, which will move the desk up and down, is located on the side of one of the legs. I don't think it matters which side of the desk the motor is on, but keep in mind that the controller will have to be on the same side of the desk as the motor because the cable won't be able to reach the opposite side of the desk. And as far as the setup goes, that's about all there is to it. The desk height will be displayed in inches on the display screen. And right now I'll just go ahead and show you guys the maximum height and also the lowest height that the desk can move between. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and push the up button and we're going to just move the desk to the highest level. By the way, I'm about five foot 11, five foot 10, somewhere in there, so. Maybe that'll give you an idea for this height as well. So the highest point is 47.7 inches. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the lowest. This is also in real time. So this is how long it takes to move the desk up and down. Here it goes. Right now we're at 35. Thirty inches is the lowest the desk can go down to. One thing I do want to point out really quick is that it does come with these little sticky hook things that you can stick underneath the desk to help manage your cables. I haven't actually used them yet, so I still have a cable right here um, hanging down, and I haven't used them yet because I actually do plan on moving this desk somewhere else. So as for my final review of this Cronova standing desk, at a price point of $189, I would definitely say that we're in that lower price range. I do have another standing desk by the brand Odin Lake, which is the same size desktop as this standing desk, and my Odin Lake standing desk goes for $449. So this one is less than half the price of my other one. And keeping the price of this desk in consideration, I would say it's not bad at all. And you actually get some pretty good value for the money. But just to point out a few differences between this desk and a more expensive standing desk like my Odin Lake standing desk. One, this desk doesn't have buttons where you can set programmable heights like my Odin Lake desk does. So every time you want to change the height, you're going to have to hold either the up or the down button until you get to the height that you want. The luxury of having those height preset buttons definitely comes at a higher price. However, this desk still does show you your height right here on the screen and it's measured by 
inches. So if you remember the height that you want, that's definitely going to help you out when you're moving the desk up and down so you don't have to guess every time. Another thing is that this desk only has one motor which you can see while my Odin Lake desk seems to have two motors which are concealed within the legs. And while I do feel like this is a pretty sturdy desk, I would say it's not quite as sturdy as my Odin Lake standing desk. But I feel like at this price point, that can kind of be expected. And I do feel like if you do want a standing desk, but you don't want to spend a ton of money on one, this one would actually be a pretty good option. It functions as it should, and I feel like it looks great too. And another thing that I just wanted to mention really quick is that when you push the buttons, either the up or the down button, just push them lightly until you hear the button click once. If you push the button too hard and you hear it click twice, the desk won't actually move. And I just thought I should mention that because when I first set this up and I was pushing the buttons, I think I was actually pushing the buttons too hard and the desk wasn't moving and I thought there was something wrong with it. But then I realized I was pushing the buttons too hard and when I just push them lightly and you hear it click once, let me show you. Just like that, just let it click once and this is what it sounds like when it clicks twice. So if you could hear there, the button clicked twice and the desk did not move. You just want to click it or press it lightly so you hear that click once and then the desk will move, no problem. Just thought I should mention that. So in the end guys, I think it's a great desk for the price, but of course I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Of course I'll go ahead and put the link to this desk down in the description below in case you'd like to check it out for yourself. And of course if you did like this video or if it helped you out, I'd really appreciate it. If you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my videos in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. I'll go ahead and put my Instagram right here in case you'd like to follow me there. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.